This is so. <laughs> All right, Cleveland today. Today is a very cold and crisp day. But I have to say, it's still a nice day. It's not snowing, right? Well, today I wanna ask you a question. Where is your heart? Where is your heart today? Now I want you to think about this. Don't hesitate, but where's your heart? Is it in sports? Is it in money? Is it in fashion? Is it in relationships? Is it in a career? Where's your heart? The reason I'm asking you this question is because I know many people go throughout their day-to-day -day life not really pondering upon their life. You now they go about their day, you know, enjoying whatever pleasure they like to enjoy during their day and not giving a second thought, except when someone dies or something traumatic happens in their life. But instead of doing that, why not when everything is going good, ponder upon this question. Where's your heart? Because if I, I you know, I talk to a lot of people and uh, they always like to profess that they have a good heart. They, you know, they like, oh, I do bad things, but uh, I have a good heart. Do you? Do you really? Well, I want you to ask yourself, uh, where's your heart? Do you know? Because it's not in the right place, then you'll be in trouble. And the reason you'll be in trouble is because your heart wasn't in the right place, obviously. <laughs> for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. For whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God should not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. You see people, if your heart is not right with God, then you'll be in trouble. You'll be in trouble on that day 
that you expire, you'll be in trouble because if your heart is not right with God, it will not be a good day <laughs> or night or whenever that day may be, that time may be. See, when I ask, when I ask most people, are they a good person? They're going to say, yeah, yeah, I think I'm a good person. And then I go ask them, uh, have you ever lied? Have you ever uh, stolen anything? Have you ever um, looked with someone with lustful desires? And most people will say they did. Or they do. And that means you're not good. It means you're not a good person. You know, not as good as you think you are anyway. The Bible says that the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? That's why I'm asking you, where's your heart? Where's your heart today? Is it in... Uh, monsters hockey? Is it in, uh, money? Uh, is it in, uh, uh, Cleveland Browns football? Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers basketball? Is that where your heart is? Well, if it is, then your heart is not in the right place. You need to repent, turn from your sins, trust in God, trust in the Lord and he will wash away your sins and cleanse your heart. Because, you know, most people think they have a good heart. <laughs> they think they're a good person. But, you know, what is good? In today's postmodern society, good is relative. That can be whatever's good for me is maybe not good for you. But the truth is, there's an absolute standard of good. And there's an absolute standard of bad. And we don't decide that standard. Only God does. So we can't say, oh, well, you know, Whatever I think is good, is good for me. No, because whatever you think is probably not good enough in God's eyes. So you really need to examine yourself and examine your life and really, uh, really uh, ask yourself, where's your heart? Because it's not right with God, you're in trouble. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son Whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but through him, the world might be saved. Folks, I want to know, where's your heart? Where's your heart today? Is it in Monsters Hockey? Is it in Cleveland Browns football? Or Cleveland Cavaliers basketball? Well, if it is, your heart is not right with God. And I'm telling you today, I'm warning you out of love. Get right with God before it's too late. Get right with God before it's too late. Because you never know when you're going to die. You can go throughout your life thinking everything is all fine and dandy. But when uh, you hit that expiration date, that's it. No more chances. No more fun and games. And what's going to happen to you when you die? Do you know? Well, if you're scratching your head and you have some doubt, I would say you probably need to find out. Because this life is not promised. This life is not promised to anyone. Your life is just but a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. 
No one's promised the next day. No one's promised the next second. No one's promised the next minute. No one's promised the next year. The next few months. No one's promised to live forever. But the good news is you can accept that chance, that's accept that gift to live forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send the son into the world to condemn the world, but through him, the world might be saved. You see that might there? There's a might. That means it's not a guarantee that you'll be saved when you die. So that's why I'm urging you to get right with God today. Get right with God right now. Before it's too late, before you run out of time. Because you never know when your life will end. It's so vital, people. Get right with God today before it's too late. You know, I was just uh, I was just watching the news and I saw uh, the outbreak in China, the coronavirus, and it said um, at the time 56 people died. <laughs> Do you think that um, they knew they were gonna die that day? They knew where they're gonna. Uh, be infected with some some mystery virus and die. I doubt it. I doubt it <clears throat> That's why I'm uh, Really um, Urging you to consider your life Consider which your life is at this moment in time Because um, this life is not certain, it's not certain to give you a long life. It's not certain to give you a life where you're going to retire when you're like 65 or 70. So it's an uncertainty there. And if you don't, excuse me, if you don't know what's going to happen to you when you die then you will die in uncertainty and that is a that is a very numbing thought that is a sobering thought to die in uncertainty that's why I'm saying to you get right with God today before it's too late before time runs out because you never know what can happen to you at any given time you don't know what can happen to you? You don't know when your life will end. That's why it's so important to be right with God before that happens. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Isaiah 55 verse 6 says this Seek ye the Lord while he may be found Call ye upon him while he is near Let the wicked forsake their ways 
and the, un and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You see, God wants to give you abundant pardon. He wants to have mercy upon your soul. But it's going to take some effort on your part. You're going to have to make the decision to turn away from whatever you're doing now. You're going to have to make the decision to lay down your life and give it to him. And he will have mercy upon your soul. I mean, that's, that's the good news. That is the good news. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God said, I send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. Salvation is available for you today. <clears throat> but you have to humble yourself. You have to humble yourself. because, See, the thing is, we think so highly of ourselves. We think we're so good. But the truth is, in the sight of God, we're not good. We're bad. That's why we need humility. That's why we need humility to understand that we're not good. And that we need, we need to be right with God. Get right with God today before you run out of time, before it's too late. Tomorrow's not promised. I mean, you got viruses, earthquakes happening right now. You think those people thought they were going to have that kind of traumatic thing happen to them in their life? You thought people were going to, thought they were going to lose their life that day? Probably not. But guess what? Life is offered to you. Life is, um, is on the table for you. If you repent of your sins and trust in Christ, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ today while you still have time, while it's still breath in your lungs, while you still have a beating heart, trust in the Lord today. Give your life to him. <laughs> what do you have to lose really? Because I, got, I, I guarantee you probably tried everything else already. And guess what? All those things temporarily satisfy you. Yeah, they might give you pleasure for a season. But in the end, it leaves you empty and depleted. That's because it never satisfies fully. It never fills that void in your life, that void in your heart. That's why I'm asking today, where is your heart? Where is your heart? Because it's not with, if it's not with the Lord, then you're in trouble. You are in trouble. Get right with God today while you still have time. This is, this is really serious, uh, people. This is urgent. This is sobering. The time is now. Today is the day of salvation. Hear my voice. I tell you the truth in love. I tell you the truth in love. I'm out here as a servant for God because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever will ever, excuse me, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. I want you to uh, humble yourselves today, people. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to Jesus. Repent of your sins. Trust in the Lord. I'm telling you, you will never regret it. He changed me. My heart was wicked. And he changed my heart. He changed my life. 
And now I stand here before you today saying the same thing that happened to me can happen to you. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> you know, this life is not promised. This life is not promised. Your life can end at any moment. That's why it's so important to ask yourself, where's your heart? Where is your heart, people? Is it in sports? Is it in money? Is it in your career? Because if it's not with the Lord, you're in trouble. Get right with God today while you still have time. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that who whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. <clears throat> For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but through him the world might be saved. Ask yourself today is your heart right with God? Where's your heart? Is it right with God? If it's not, then I really would urge you to examine yourselves, examine your life. Because life is just a vapor. Your life is just a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. It's not promised. It's not guaranteed. That's why I'm urging you to get right with God today. While you still have time, while you're still breathing, while you still have oxygen in your lungs. Today is the day of salvation. Today. God bless you. Get right with God while we still have time. We're in Cleveland, it's a cold winter day and there's no snow on the ground. That's amazing. It's amazing. But you know what else is amazing? <laughs> is that God allowed this day for you. He gave you this day for you. He woke you up. Oh, why now? Why won't you just, why won't you humble yourself? Give your life to him. Stop being so prideful. <laughs> Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will lift you up. <clears throat> well, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish to have everlasting life. For God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but through him, the world might be saved. I want you to give your life to Jesus today. Humble yourself in the sight of, hand, in the sight of God, and he will lift you up. It's so urgent, so vital. It's so serious, it's so sobering. Where's your heart today, Cleveland? Where's your heart? Is your heart in uh, professional athletes who get paid a lot of money to play a game? Is that where your heart is? Because I guarantee you they don't care about you. <laughs> so why not just no, give up that idolatry <laughs> and uh, give your life to Christ. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he, he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord for he will have mercy on him. And to our God he will abundantly pardon.
See, God wants to give you abundant pardon. He wants to have mercy upon your life. He wants to have mercy upon your soul. But it takes something happening on your end. You have to humble yourself. Repent of your sins and turn to Christ. Before it's too late. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give him your heart today. <clears throat> he offers you salvation. <laughs> salvation is a free gift. You know, everybody likes free, right? Well, why not receive the free gift of God? Because, I mean, honestly, what have you got to lose? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send the son into the world to condemn the world. How you doing? But through him, the world might be saved. Oh, people, why not receive salvation today? I mean, what do you have to lose? You're still breathing, you're still walking, you're still eating, you're still laughing, smiling. Why not receive the free gift of salvation today? Why not put your trust and faith in Jesus Christ? Why not give your life to him? It's the best decision you can probably ever make. You know, because... I mean, I guess it's all right to go to a game and... You know, watch people... Excuse me play a game but I mean if that is consuming your life then that's where your heart is if it's consuming your life if all you think about is stats and players numbers and how much they make and you know how good they play and your heart's not right with God get right with God today while you still have time Today is the day of salvation. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not next month. Not next year. Today. Today is the day of salvation. So why not receive that free gift? The gift of God is eternal life. See, this life is temporary. It's not promised. Your life is but a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. So why not just uh, receive this free gift, this free offer? Second Corinthians six verse uh, excuse me verse seventeen. Wherefore come out of, from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be your father unto you, 
and you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. See, the Lord wants you wants to wants to be your father, and He wants you to be His son or daughter. But you have to you have to come to Him on His terms. See, the problem is most people they want God in their life, but they don't want to they won't want to come to Him on His terms. They want it on theirs. But that's not how it works. You have to humble yourself. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will lift you up. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. You see, God gives you a, a free offer, a free gift of salvation. But yet, at every turn, you slap it away, you throw it away. <clears throat> you see, people, where is your heart today? Where is your heart? If your heart is in fantasy football and uh, sports statistics and sports and players and gaming and 24-7, then your heart's not right. You need to get right with God. You need to stop playing with your soul and get right with God. Get right with God today before it's too late.